Okay mga kawawa, in this video we will discuss the measures of temperature. Our objectives, we will define temperature and we will convert measurements from degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius and vice versa. So let us define first what is temperature. It refers to the degree of hotness or coldness. Thermometer is the instrument used in measuring temperature. So, we are using thermometer in finding the, temper the temperature of the body heat or even the weather temperature. So, we are using thermometer, uh, um, two thermometers in body temperature and weather temperature. So, hindi natin ginagamit yung pang-weather sa pang-body at yung body sa pang-weather. Okay? So, magkaiba po ang ginagamit natin na thermometer when we are getting the temperature of our the body heat and the weather temperature. Okay? So, lalo na napapanahon nito ngayon. Hindi ka makakapasok sa mga malls, sa kung saan-saan, Kapag hindi kinukuha ang iyong body temperature kasi uh, lalo na ngayon sa panahon ngayon na meron tayong virus. Okay, so uh, ito ngayon ang pinaka-importante. So I know familiar tayo dito. Okay, ginagamit rin natin ito kapag meron tayong lalo na kapag ano, no, may fever para ma-monitor natin yung body heat. Malaman natin kung may lagnat. At ito nga po ang ginagamit natin ngayon bago tayo pumasok sa mga malls, sa butika, kung saan-saan. Okay? So, ito po ang thermometer na ginagamit natin sa ating body. Okay? So, ulitin ko da ang ginagamit natin sa pagkuha ng temperature ay tinatawag nating thermometer. And then, this one na, naman is used to get the temperature of the weather. So, ito madalas sa elementary, ano to, nakikita natin to. So, I know yung iba sa atin, familiar sa ganitong thermometer na uh, itong pula na to, gumagalaw siya depende sa weather temperature natin, yung atmosphere natin sa loob, sa lugar na yon. Okay? So, ito ay kadalasan makikita mo sa gilid ng pinto, ng room, Sa high school, bihira na, pero sa elementary, madal madalas itong makita. Okay? So, I know familiar kayo dyan. Next. So, what are the units of temperature? So, we have the degree Celsius, which is the unit in the metric system, and the degree Fahrenheit, which is the unit in the English system. So, ito po ang unit natin sa... Uh, metric system, degree Celsius, while this one is our unit in the English system, which is the degree Fahrenheit. Okay? So, isa-isahin natin. Let us compare these two. Ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba nilang dalawa? So, degree Celsius, of course, um, sino ba ang nagpakilala nitong mga to? Dapat, dun muna tayo magsimula. So, it is named after the late Anders Celsius. Okay, so as you can see, pinangalan ng degree Celsius doon mismo sa naka-discover, uh, yung inventor. Okay, so it is named after Anders Celsius. Well, this one, it is named after Gabriel Fahrenheit. Okay, next, it is denoted by the degree and then capital C. So, ito yung degree natin, ito po yung symbol natin for degree, etong maliit ng bilog. And then, for degree Fahrenheit, we are using the degree and then capital letter F. Okay? So, degree, this is the symbol for degree. Itong maliit na bilog po natin dito. Next. So, the freezing point. Okay? The freezing point, ito yung pinaka, ano na siya. So, if we're going to compare the freezing point of the degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit, so, the freezing point for degree Celsius is 0, while the freezing point in degree Fahrenheit is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So, yun po ang pagkakaiba nila. So, the freezing point, tandaan po, the freezing point in degree Celsius is 0 degree, and the freezing point in degree Fahrenheit is 32. Next, the boiling point naman is 100 degrees Celsius in uh, degree Celsius and 
212 in degrees Fahrenheit. So, that is the boiling point. So, tandaan po ang freezing and boiling point ng degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. And of course, for us to get or for us to convert a degree Fahrenheit into degree Celsius para ma-convert natin yung equivalent na Celsius ng degree Fahrenheit, we're gonna use this formula. Degree Celsius is equivalent to 5 over 9 times the quantity of the degree Fahrenheit minus 32. While for us to get the degree Fahrenheit, we need to use 9 over 5 times degree Celsius plus 32. Okay, so this is the difference between the degree Celsius and the degree Fahrenheit. Tandaan po that the degree Celsius is the unit in the metric system and the degree Fahrenheit is the unit in the English system. So, ang mga pangalan nila ay pinangalan po sa mga uh, scientist din po, inventor na um, nakadiscover nito. Okay? And then, do not forget, madali lang naman siyang tandaan, Celsius, ito po ang kanyang symbol. And then, for Fahrenheit, ito po. Okay. Let's have an example. How are we going to convert degree Fahrenheit into Celsius? So, kasabi ko nga kanina, pinakita natin, paano ko natin kukunin ang degree Celsius given ang degree Fahrenheit? Okay. So, we're going to use this formula. Okay, we are going to use 5 over 9 times the quantity of degree Fahrenheit minus 32. So, we will have, copy your formula, etong degree Fahrenheit na to, you're going to substitute yung given value mo. So, since degree Fahrenheit ito, ilalagay natin kung ano yung given and that is 77. Okay, now, since nakagroup sila, naka uh, enclose sila sa parenthesis, ibig sabihin, you have to perform this first. Ito dapat muna. So, we will have 5 over 9 times 77 minus 32, that is 45. Now, this time, uh, we have two ways in solving this um, given. Okay? Pwede ka mag 5 times 45 divided by 9. Pwede rin naman ito. I, uh, cancel mo na siya, 45 divide 9, since pwede ma siya, naman siyang i-divide, 45 divide 9, that is 5. Para, pag nag-multiply ka dito, maliit na lang yung value. Hindi ka gaya kapag 5 times 45 ang laki, and then di-divide mo siya sa 9. So, para mas madali, i-divide mo na muna, 45 divide 9, that is 5, times 5, ta times natin siya ngayon, that is 25 uh, degree Celsius. So, therefore, 77 degree Fahrenheit is equivalent to 25 degree Celsius. Next, let's have another. So, ganun ulit, we're going to convert 65 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. So, we're going to use this formula, ganun ulit, lagay natin yung given, substitute natin yung 65, kasi yun ang given natin, lagay natin siya dito. So, uh, let us solve this first. 65 minus 32, that is 33. Okay, now, 33 divided by 9. So, pwede rin, ulitin ko ha, pwede pong 5 times 33. Pwede rin yun. Pero, sabi ko nga, pwede mo munang i-divide muna ito para pag yung sagot na makukuha mo, okay, ay, sorry. Okay, ayan. Mas maliit na. But since, hindi siya divisible by 9, okay? Hindi ito divisible by 9. So, anong gagawin natin? So, pwedeng i-times muna muna. 33 times 5, that is 165 divided by 9. Okay? Since hindi siya divisible, magkakaroon ka ng butal dyan. So, 33 times 5, that is 165. Okay? So, 165 divided by 9, that is 18.33. So, hanggat maaari, nakaano lang tayo, to the nearest hundreds. Okay? Yung two decimal places. So, 18.33 degrees Celsius. Therefore, 65 degree Fahrenheit is equivalent to 18.33 degree Celsius. Next, let us now convert degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit naman. Baliktad naman tayo. Okay? So, therefore, we're going to use 
this formula, iba naman siya ngayon. So, our formula will be uh, the quantity of 9 over 5 times degrees Celsius. Ilalagay natin dito mamaya yung given plus 32. So, dapat unahin mo muna itong nasa loob. Okay? So, substitute natin yung degree Celsius, our given, that is 45. So, since again, divisible siya by 5, pwede ka na munang mag-cancel dito. So, 45 divide 5, that is 9. Okay? And then, ita times natin ito, 9 times 9, that is 81. Bago tayo mag-plus ng 32. Okay? Hindi pwedeng 9 times Inad mo muna to 9 plus 32. Hindi po pwede. So, since naka-enclose ito, this means that you have to perform this first before you add 32. So, 9 times 9, that is 81. 81 plus 32. So, eight, uh, 81 plus 32, that is 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So, therefore, 45 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's have the next one. So, uh, again, we're going to use the same formula since we are looking for, we are finding for the equivalent of degree Fahrenheit. So, we will have 9 over 5 times what is your given degree Celsius that is 28. So, lalagay natin dito 28 plus 32. So, ito. Uh, 28, pwede mo siyang i-divide, kaya lang may butal. Pero, pwede na rin. 28 divided by 5, that is actually 5.6. Okay? So, 5.6. Ang mahirap mag-divide is yung kapag repeating siya. But since this is terminating naman, meron siyang exact value. So, 5.6, pwede mo siyang i-divide. Okay? So, 28 divided by 5, that is 5.6. So, we will multiply 9 times 5.6 and that is 50.4 so tsaka natin i-add yung 32 so 50.4 plus 32 that is 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit okay so therefore 28 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 82.4 in degree Fahrenheit okay test yourself so, I'm giving you 1 to 2 minutes to answer. If, ta the, uh, if the time is not enough, you may pause the video so you can have enough time in answering the uh, activity. Okay. So, here are the answers. So, you, ha you have 10 items. So, this is 1 to 6 and then um, 4 items here because this is 2 points each. So, let's see if you get 10. So, for number 1, temperature ther thermometer under Celsius. For numbers 4 and 5, degree C and then F. And then for number 6, 212 degree Fahrenheit. And then for our... Uh, solutions we have 104 degree fahrenheit and for 9 and 10 10 degrees celsius so i hope you got perfect you may share your scores sa ating comment section i hope you got 10 congratulations thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.